in a historic and landmark announcement made by Google, CEO Sundar Pichai has confirmed that artificial intelligence can now help in detecting any sort of cardiovascular problem that you may have, all of it just with a simple eye scan. That's right, you can say goodbye to your x-rays, to your CT scans, to your MRIs, because Google AI can now go ahead and detect what's happening in your body quite simply with an eye scan. This has been in the works for nearly four years now. And remember, just a few months ago, Google CEO Pichai had also said that with a retinal scan, Google's AI can actually predict what your age is, what your sexual identity is, uh, and whether you smoke, whether you do smoke or don't smoke, and also whether you could suffer a heart attack in the next five years. AI, truly a game changer. In a historic In a historic and landmark announcement made by Google, CEO Sundar Pichai has confirmed that artificial intelligence can now help in detecting any sort of cardiovascular problem that you may have, all of it just with a simple eye scan. That's right, you can say goodbye to your x-rays, to your CT scans, to your MRIs, because Google AI can now go ahead and detect what's happening in your body quite simply with an eye scan. This has been in the works for nearly four years now. And remember, just a few months ago, Google CEO Pichai had also said that with a retinal scan, Google's AI can actually predict what your age is, what your sexual identity is, uh, and whether you smoke, whether you do smoke or don't smoke, and also whether you could suffer a heart attack in the next five years. AI, truly a game changer. Shalom, shalom. Our first and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone and rule well. Blessings and salutations to the whole elect. And it was in the gospel, brother, from the standard of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Hey, you heard what she just said, man. Okay. You heard exactly what she just said. Uh, uh, like we've been t telling Jake and I, and, you know, we're to the point like now it's just like shit, it, it, the warning's been out there. We've been going into this whole thing of AI and the MOTB and how this system of the internet of things, how all these things compile as to one, uh, uh, uh spectrum of, of something going inside you. Okay. See these are the camps, man. And this is where they go off at. They don't want to get on board with this because they have some against Great Millstone. I mean, honestly, that's just what it is when you think about it. So therefore, uh, we have this going back and forth about what this MOTB is. But when you think about Google AI, like we say, AI is the new God. AI is the new technological advance in the digital infrastructure of the world. Like right now, you got what they call the metaverse. Um, they're actually building a facility up this way. I believe it's set to be completed by 2025. Um, I see when they laid the groundwork. I mean, they have like these 30, 40 foot on the ground. What is it like? Fucking 16 foot manholes, man, that you can walk into. And that's how big that this uh, facility is going to be dealing with AI and metaverse. And the chances is it's right across the street from the FBI headquarters. You see, so... They getting ready to do, do something big. And this is the reason why we tell you, Jakes, man, to get on board. Because now you got what they call the Great Reset. The year of the poly crisis, which is going to set in certain pivotal events to aid in the further collapsing of this old system to bring in a new system. And that's Bible prophecy, man. Because the scriptures talk about a new world order. That's what all this new advance in technology is, is coming about. You see, which the Internet of Things, the micro C hip, all that ties it to one spectrum, man. OK, and these are miracles that the scriptures have told us about and to beware. OK, so this is the book of Revelation 13 and 14. I typed in miracles and it came up 27 times in the King James Version. But the, I want to focus on Revelation 13 and 14, because what she's saying is nothing more than a miracle, man. OK, to the point you can go to the Google AI and they can predict when you may have a heart attack. They could predict when you, uh, 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 if you smoke or you drink and all this other shit. 
That's some left hand shit, man. Those are left hand miracles. Because how can a digital computer detect anything about you unless you hooked up to it? You see? So it's not going to be a need for these uh, uh, these these witches that you call doctors. It's not going to really be a need for that because everybody can literally plug themselves into this AI and figure out what's going on in their bodies, man. OK, so anyway, this is the book of Revelation uh, 13 and 14. And it reads, it says, and he deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. OK, and we know that Esau Edom is the deceiver. He's selling you this this new technology in the form of a miracle, in a miracle in the form of a savior, because he's trying to do away with the savior. He wants to create the chaos and he wants to be the reason that everybody bows down and worship him. Basically, he's playing the most high. OK, he's going to create a scenario that's so bad to the point that he's going to come up with the solution. And that's going to be the downfall of humanity. You see, ultimately, is Esau trying to get the kingdom back It's basically his perverted version of the kingdom of heaven okay which is the kingdom of hell on earth on the esau edom all right so it says um and deceived them that dwelled on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast okay and we know that the beast is going into this system this roman empire okay it says to do in the sight of the beast saying it to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the womb by the sword and did live because going into the ancient roman empire it was brought down okay followed by the holy roman empire i believe it was the eastern half of the roman empire that was broke broken down i believe jake inhabited like the western half of rome i believe and set up what they call the byzantine empire or the uh the, the dark ages or the holy roman empire which was with jake's I get it confused. I'm not sure if it was the east that fell or the west that fell. But regardless of it, it says a wound by the sword and did live. Why? Because we know that Rome was brought down. Okay, now we're in the revival of the Roman Empire. And to prove that, you can look up a comparative analysis of America and the Roman Empire. And you're going to get some shocking comparisons, man. From a Senate state to a Congress to, to, to uh, political systems to... Uh, uh, candidates to caesars which is nothing but modern day presidents to the uh, the monarchy to the, the the global economy to the military being spread thin to the infrastructure being totally trash man to the inflation to the fact that the israelites were in slavery but yet they was able to practice their religion all these things you can find in comparison or conjunction with the uh, ancient roman empire you see so <clears throat> yeah man we're going to Revelation 13 and 15. It says, and he had power to give life into the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak. And it's speaking now. How is it speaking? Through this technology, through the laws, through the, the, this monarchy, through the elites. It's speaking by what's making this world currently revolve around, man. Okay? The image is all around us. We're living in it. Okay? And it says, and cause as many that were not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And the ultimate form of worshiping the image of this beast is taking that m-a-r-k okay which the lord told us not to do okay and it says and it calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a m-a-r-k in their right hands or in their foreheads that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name okay now when you understand this you understand that with this m-a-r-k comes a digital uh pass into the new world order this is more than just having an M-A-R-K in your right arm or your forehead, man. There's going to be miracles and things that you can do with this. You're going to have the power to buy and sell. You're going to have the power to have the latest technology, the newest Wi-Fi, the newest phones, the, the, the updated apartments. You're going to have the ability to, to, to live within the 15-minute smart cities or the 15-minute cities. Okay, You're going to have the ability to drive the electric cars, Okay, the ability to go to particular institutions. Only for a short while. Because honestly speaking, I feel like when this comes to pass, and I speak as a man when I say it, but I don't feel that Esau has the time to, to, to recapitalize or to re-event society as a whole without chaos uh, just totally ceasing. I don't see it that way. I see that when he tries to pass this thing, it's going to be already chaotic and to the point he's going to be able to restore some type of order. But overall, people are going to be far past the point of even going back to live a regular life because shit is going to be so fucked up so i don't see them i don't i don't i don't see people just just going to to to, to make things better man 
I can see I can see them accepting the, the CHIP as a collective, but even then it's gonna be so totalitarian to the point that people they're not gonna be able to enjoy their life because the minute that Esau does this, you better believe that this place is on its way out of here. So literally, matter of months, you know, matter of months, weeks, or perhaps days, who knows, man. But I don't see them coming back into a society like this once he passed the MOTB. It's going to be too past the chaos already, man. So he's going to gradually introduce it into different forms of life so that he can at least have uh, uh, control over the people to some degree. But overall, when this comes, people are going to already be in a rebellion type state of mind. They're like, look, fuck this shit. We're not dealing with this, you know. But it says here. And here is wisdom. Let him not have understanding. Count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And it is 603 score and six, man. You see? So, hey, man, you know, is it, the, the miracles is in the, the, the proof is in the pudding. You see? And if you can't see it, then it's because the Spirit of the Lord is not dealing with you. All right? Uh, Hold up. Let me get another precept. This is the book of Revelation 16 and 14. And it reads here, it says, for they are the spirit of devils. And we know that Esau Edom is the devil. Okay. He's Satan, he's the physical counterpart of spiritual demon Satan on the planet Earth. It says working miracles. Okay. As she said in the video, that's nothing more than a miracle. Okay. Being able to detect what type of disease you have in your body just by eye scan. That's some high level shit. It says working miracles, which go forth from the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to 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 them to the battle of that great day of the god almighty which is the war of armageddon or the world war three okay which armageddon is just a tr amount okay armageddon which means this amount of troops okay uh, revelation 19 and 20 it says and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him uh with which had the seed them had received the mark of the beast and them that worship the image it says these were both cast alive into the lake of fire burning with brimstone Okay, but it goes back to wrought working miracles. Okay, because Esau is playing God. Okay, miracles. And we're gonna look up that word. Matter of fact, let's look up the word. Let's go, uh, let's go to the book of Revelation. Let's get some understanding on that. Revelation 19 and 20. And we're gonna go to the word miracle. It goes into uh let me just, let's, let's pronounce it. Strong's G4592. Semayon. Semayon. Semayon, okay. And it reads, a sign, a mark, a token that with which a person or a thing is distinguished from others <laughs> and is known, okay. And we know that this MOTB is going to have particular benefits to it, okay. Though it's going to be uh, deadly and cancerous and ultimately aiding your demise and your destruction. Overall, this micro C hip will be pretty much a, 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 a free go pass into this nwo and you're going to have access to certain luxuries that the average person that we're not going to have access to because the fact that when they open things back up we don't have the proper conditionally we're not going to be able to, to even live we're going to be forced out of society to the point that forcing us out of society isn't enough they're going to have to do an all-out witch hunt because they're going to look at it like oh well these people are dangerous because they're going to try to harm the people that's in this order because they've opposed it from the beginning. So they have to come up with some type of excuse to, to taking us out physically. Okay, just ostracizing us and kicking us out of society isn't enough. They want to do away with our existence. Okay, it says a sign, a prodigy, a portent, an unusual occurrence, <laughs> transcending the common course of nature. Wow. Okay, like we got holistic medicine, but now some AI robot can tell you that, hey, you have this disease, take this and that. Or they can put something in your spine like the movie uh, Upgrade. It was some called STEM. Dude was paraplegic. STEM basically gave him the ability to walk again. Okay, so that's basically going into unusual occurrence. Transcending the common course of nature. Because the body heals itself. But what happens? You go to Esau's witches and then they come up with these concoctions. For example, the you know what? And people are pretty much in trouble because of it. Okay, of signs. Pretending remarkable events soon to happen. Of miracles and wonders by which Yahweh authenticates the men sent by him, which is the prophets, which we're going to have. These miracles on the left-hand side, you definitely better believe we're going to be doing miracles on the right-hand side. Because you may have people uh, that's going down that attempted to, to take it because they want to walk again. But then they may run into the prophets and we can give them sight or we can heal them. 
okay, or by which men prove that the cause they are pleading is God's. Okay, so that's the definition of a miracle. You see, but uh, going to the last precept here, I don't want to make this too long. I just found that video quite interesting, actually. But uh, this is the book of Ezekiel, the 28th chapter. And I'm going to start at verses one. It says, the word of Yahweh came to me again, saying, son of man. Uh, saying to the prince of Tyrus, ultimately this is going to Esau. Thus says the Lord Yahweh, because thy heart is lifted up and thou hast said, I am a God. And I sit in the seat of the most high. And how is he sitting in the seat of the Lord? One thing, he's taken down the Israelites, our people. Second of all, he has dominionship over the earth, okay? And he's trying to get dominionship over the heavens. Scriptures say that the earth is my uh, the earth is my throne room. No, heaven is my throne room and, and the earth is my footstool, okay? And Esau, Edom is basically sitting in the seat of the Most High, claiming he's the people of the Lord. Precept is in Thessalonians. It says, I sit in the seat of God in the midst of the seas, which is the people. Okay, yet there are men and not Yahweh. Though thou set thy heart as a heart of a God, because only a person with a, a sick, twisted the mindset or a God complex that's inferior by nature will come up with a concept of a technology to try to supersede what the most high have established. Because basically the new world order is nothing but an artificial kingdom. Okay, an artificial kingdom of heaven being ran by drones and robots. Okay, and you have to get uh 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 get the drink every other goddamn month you know what i'm saying you're gonna have probably 30 40 drinks in you before the end of the year to the point you ain't even human anymore but it says behold thou art wiser than daniel and there's no secret what they can hide from thee and with thy wisdom and thy understanding thou hast gotten thee riches and has gotten gold and silver into thy treasure and by thy great wisdom and by thy traffic has thou increased thy riches and thy heart is lifted up because of thy riches man Okay, so this is the reason why he's coming up with this technology. You know, the reason why the Lord allowed him to, to, to come up with this technology so the Lord could be justified on destroying his ass, man. Because Esau has no limits. He will continue to go and go and go until he totally destroys everything. All right. Uh, last precept. This is the book of uh, Daniel 12. And I'm going to start at verses uh, 4. It says, But oh, thou, O oh, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many should run to and fro and knowledge should be increased, man. Okay. This is why you have this new age and technology. I mean, to the point now, you don't shit, you don't have a smartphone or a computer. You can't really survive in this world. Because everything is done through the smartphone. It's the reason why you got an iPhone fucking every year that come out. By the end of the year, you may have iPhone 55 or something, man. Like the 13 came out last year, then the 12 the year before that, then the 11 and 10, 9, 8, 7. They getting ready to release the 15. And you already got three versions of the 14. You got the 14, and you got the 14 Pro Max, then you got the 14 uh, uh, Plus. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like, damn. But they'll continue to, 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 to update this technology to keep you entangled therein, so therefore your mind can be totally captivated by this technology, so you'll be conditioned to getting this MOTB. That's what it's all about at the end of the day, man. But I'm going to end it there, giving all praises and glory and honor that is due to you. How about you? How about you? And with that, Shalom and the Baba Bo. Shalom.